Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Vex Competition Tower Takeover. So for those of you who didn't know, I made a video the last, the previous year, um, on the in the zone, the Vex Competition last year in the zone, and many people seemed to like it, and they found it very helpful. And many people have been requesting me to make a video on Tower Takeover, so I decided to do that today. So if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and if you want new updates uh, or and give this video a big thumbs up and stay till the end of the video so you know all the updates and how to play this game. So first of all, as you know, as you all know, the games get harder each year and this year it's pretty hard actually. Like I I'm kind of surprised by the rules and games we have. First of all, I've been planning for the type of robot I want to build and I've been thinking I've been getting a, goodie, a pretty good plan and that's basically a claw bot no not a claw bot what am i saying an arm robot a robot with an arm not a shooter but an arm because last time we had balls and obviously that the radius of the ball can be fit in with the shooter but then this is a key we cannot shoot you think about that hypothetically so first of all let's just get started so some of the rules on this thing or on this field is a 12 by 12 square field and there are two alliances one red and one blue yep that's the same thing each t uh, or each two teams composed of each one team here one team here same for the red side and then um a 15 second autonomous period where there's no driver control no drivers driving the robot that's the autonomous and then one minute and 45 second driver control period where the driver gets to control the robot okay so let's just look at just what it's in the field uh placed in the field so there are 66 cubes on the tower takeover field 22 are green 22 are orange 22 are purple and there are seven towers located everywhere and um all with the varying height they're all different height they're not the same because you can see that this one is different than this one and that one and that one and there's one over there um so yeah and um you have to place the uh, cubes on top of the towers so cubes can be placed in towers or scored, uh, scored in goals cubes are at least worth one point when they're placed in the goal zone the exact value of each cube is determined by how many cubes of the specific color have been placed in the towers. When cubes are placed in or removed from towers, new values will apply to all cubes. So the actions of one robot will impact the potential score for their own alliance and their opponents. So basically whatever your robot's doing and uh, whatever you score in the towers or on the goal zones, you have to know that there are new values being calculated for each one a new time that you're um, putting and placing in. And I'm not sure if there's like the last year like where you have to, where new scores will be applied each time. You will be, um, y you're taking everything off and all, I don't, I don't know if you get what I mean, but like still, I'm kind of still confused about that because I'm still new to this. And um, another one thing I really like about this is have your, uh, is that the autonomous period is awarded with six bonus points if they're, winning the winning team will get um a, uh, win, uh so basically they win six points and the alliance who wins this bonus bo uh, autonomous period is also awarded with two purple cubes which may be introduced at any time during the driver control so i'm kind of excited for this so and another advice might be have an autonomous period guys like it's very important and i've been we struggled i know our team specifically struggled with this last year um, and I think it's best to have the autonomous. Once I get it figured out, I will make a video on that, but let me know in the comments below what you specifically need help with uh, in the programming section because I am a programmer and a driver. So let me know what type of video you guys want me to make next in order to make it more helpful for you guys as well as me because I learn everything when I'm teaching you guys. So, and the scoring. It's simple. So each green cube scored in a goal is one point and another point 
for every cube placed in the tower. So whenever you place a cube in the goal, you have to place it in the uh, you get one point. And then when you uh, when you and then another point for every green cube that is scored or placed in the towers. Basically, that's simple. Uh, orange cube, that's the same thing with orange and purple and the autonomous bonus period, uh, or autonomous points, where if you're the autonomous winners, six points. And let me tell you, or give you another hint. People are going to be having a lot of autonomous this year because since they know that there are going to be six points giving extra if they have the autonomous, they're going to work towards getting it somehow. And in order to do that, you guys need to create your own autonomous period, a way, a smart way of competing with the other teams. Um, and during the game time or the competition, check with your alliances. Well, do they have an autonomous period? How does, if they do, how does their autonomous work? Or what is their game plan? Plan out everything beforehand in order for you to be successful during the game and for you guys to have a higher chance of winning. Because I've seen it personally where we don't do everything and we don't plan with our alliances or just in our team and ourselves. We are not doing so great in the field. So plan beforehand and ask your robots and your alliances. Oh, sorry, not ask your robots. Um, ask your alliances what they have, what is their game plan, and know everything beforehand in order to just realize and specifically do everything. This is going to make our lives much easier in terms of scoring. I know a lot of teams. I mean, from our school, one team went to X Pearls. I think that's what they had the best in themselves. Um team um, cooperation is also part of this thing so i have some advice for you guys there so take advantage of that and then finally the last thing is have a good engineering notebook guys this is very very important having a good engineering notebook determines how well you've been preparing and how well you've been prepared for the competition how you have improved or progressed throughout the year this is these are very very important factors when it comes to uh, judging and when they judge you or take inspections these are very important factors to consider so I would highly suggest that you guys do and follow all of these things in order and in order for you guys to be successful as well as your teams and that's it for today guys I hope you guys have a great day and make sure to leave a comment below on for you guys to let me know what type of video or programming video that I or you guys want me to make so that I can be helpful in my side and then you guys could be learning from your side so we all can treat, learn and program and anyway thank you for watching subscribe and like this video thank you